guys, so I'm getting ready to go see the rent. Why does it zoom me in like that? Am I doing that? Hey, y'all, so I'm getting ready to go see. <laughs> what did you do, Mammy? The Renaissance. Now you know. <laughs> the Renaissance now tour. You know. I'm getting ready to go see the Renaissance movie. So it's in the afternoon, so I, I didn't like theme. But the only thing I did, I did put some rhinestone hoops on for the, the little Renaissance. So. Anyways, to be continuing on if I like it or not, it's three hours, two hours and 48 minutes. Child. So I'm going to go in here. But Beyonce is pretty entertaining, so it should be pretty entertaining. And I didn't go to the actual uh, concert, so this should be a remix. That's what they say of what the concert was. Strike a pose. Okay. <laughs> strike a pose. I don't know what kind of pose to strike, but. Renaissance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce. Okay, y'all, so I just came from the Renaissance movie. It was really good, but long as fuck. So be prepared if you're going to go, that you're going to be in there for a long period of time. I felt this. I thought the performances, the costumes, everything. Beyonce did a wonderful concert. But, ooh, I'm driving y'all. But, she should have did more. Turn I right feel, to merge onto I-20 West. I feel that she should have did more documentary type stuff and maybe condensed the movie just a little bit. Sleepyhead, I went with Naomi. She go to sleep on everything, so I already knew she was gonna probably go to sleep because you know she's a sleepy. I'm sleepy. Anywhere we go, she gets she gets sleepy. She gets sleepy. So I already knew that she was gonna probably go to sleep halfway into it. But it was good. Y'all can go see it. But I'm just saying, prepare for a long, a long movie. I like the part too, like her family is, like she is really blessed to have strong family with her mom, her husband, her kids, like just have really a lot of love that you can see that, or that really helps Beyonce be balanced and stuff like that, you know, and I don't know. It, it was just, it was good to see that side. I just think it was a little long, but it had really some good parts with Blue Ivy. We got to see Remy, her son. Her son seems kind of quiet. But, um, yeah, overall, it was a good movie. Just be prepared to uh, go for a long time. But it was cute how you could take photos. So they had like a little photo op area, you know, if y'all want to get dressed up and go. So I thought that was cute. And they got little Renaissance bu buckets, like with popcorn and stuff. I didn't get it, but that's cute too. So overall, I give it, I give it an eight or a nine. I really give it an eight probably because of the longevity of the film. It's kind of like you really have to, I think you can get antsy sitting there for almost three some hours, but the visuals of course are great. The documentary was good, but I give it an eight. What'd you give it now? A 10. I knew she was gonna give it a 10 cause she's like, beehive to the heart but yeah i give it an eight because of that so, all right y'all peace out hey y'all so we back at it again i'm finally back into routine since thanksgiving when i went home so now i'm at the at home getting ready to try to get some stuff in here hopefully for my guest room so my mom will be coming to Atlanta pretty soon. And so I need to get the guest room in the house together. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can get some sheets and some blankets. And I don't know, just to kind of get the guest room put together. My, new, my old bed is in my guest room now. And my new bed, of course, I need to do my new bedroom or whatever as well. The master bedroom. But back in the ATL, it's a little overcasty today back in the swing of things since i got back last week so i've been home for about a week now so now i'm back in the swing of things of trying to get everything 
back to decorating, back to getting things done. So let's go ahead and go in Home Goods and see if we can. I'm not Home Goods. Child, I got Home Goods on my mind because we're going to Home Goods probably after this. But let's go on at home and see what we can get together. All right. <laughs> too. I don't think I showed a lot of that. I was getting tired. It was getting dark. Other things happened. So when I got home last night, <coughs> excuse me, I'm kind of getting over a cold too. When I got home last night, um, I didn't show you all what I got from when we went shopping, when I took you guys shopping. So this is the guest room. This is the guest room where I am trying to organize it bear with me right now it's a little messy um i'm sleeping in here i did get my new bed i think i showed you guys that or i don't know if i have for my room but i don't have like pillow like all the pillow uh the bedding yet so i've been sleeping in here for right now but i'm getting ready to get this guest room together because my mom is coming back and then two then i'm going to start really working on my on my room the master bedroom um i've kind of got some ideas in my mind and it takes a time to like figure out how you want your rooms and your house and things of that nature going so i just want to share this room with you um it won't be the great reveal it'll be a couple more i had to order some decorative pillows from amazon i need to kind of still go out and see if i can find some decorative pillows the colors in here are going to be white tan and blue and what i got the colors from is this picture that i have in here see if you can see it so this is like the inspiration of the room these colors so blue tan and then i'm gonna do like a white are the colors this is it this is the in inspo this picture is gonna go on this wall and then I have a couple pictures that are gonna go on that wall. But this is the inspo picture for this room. I think it'll go good, you know, with the tan and maybe I can even do this throw combination with it. We will see. And this was like $25, but I thought that would be good. So these are the colors I'm trying to get for this room. I have a candle. I want to show you I may put in here as well I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this section I'm thinking I'm not gonna do any curtains or anything like that in here I may put a, a, some greenery like maybe put a, a plant or something but I'll see once I get the other two pictures on the wall and just see because I don't want it to be too cluttered either but I'm gonna go ahead and make up the bed I'm gonna put all these new things away until I get a couple more things and then we'll see the great reveal once I start getting more little things together. And I ordered my chairs for downstairs in the kitchen. So I'm excited about that. So we'll be done with the kitchen once we get the bar stools. Those will come sometime next week. So we'll sh I'll show you me putting those together. And yeah, the kitchen will be done, the guest room. And then I'm gonna start working on my the master bed uh, well, I, got, I need to work on the guest bathroom, my room, and my bathroom all the way. Uh, but that may, my bathroom may take a little time because I have some certain things I want to do. And I'm going to finish the office. So the house is coming along. Like I said, I'm taking you on this day-to-day -day journey with me week by week or whenever I can get things for it. So that's where I'm at now with the house. And yeah. I'm going to give you guys a scope of the room now. This is what it looks like now, you know, with the pillows that I have up now. So it's real, real basic to me. Nothing 
you know. So we're gonna spruce up this guest room. You know, a little some pictures, a little razzle dazzle. We may do curtains, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we feel. But I just think it needs a little razzle dazzle. So, to be continued. Y'all, you know, don't be getting that many gifts now. Let me, let me get situated, cause y'all might say, damn, her stuff is messy. Check out the box, nice and gold. You know, I like gold, mm -hmm. beauty, petite, petite. Let's open. Uh, oh, 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 oh
Stick together. Stick together. Because we are stronger together. That's true. Yeah. They, you gonna, they gonna be like, dang, where these girls come from? We didn't even, I mean, what happened? Exactly. Like, they just came out the blue. That's what y'all gonna be thinking. Like, they just came out the blue. Out the blue. Because one black woman is nothing that F we. Exactly. Two black women working together, it's a force. It's a force. <laughs> <laughs> what Beyonce do? <laughs> So watch out y'all, the wine cuisine is on its way. It's on its way, get them sauces. getting ready to go see Giselle. We haven't seen Giselle in a long time. So we're going to this place called Just Brunch. And so I just have on some sweatpants, some Nike tennis shoes, little crop top, little vest-like jacket, hair in a bun, diamond earrings, jewelry, jewelry. So yeah, this is the fit for going to see her. So I'm super excited. The place is called Just Brunch. I'll try to get some footage of the brunch bot. All right. Hey y'all, guess who I am with? It's long time no see. It's Giselle in the house. <laughs> Catching up. We're at the Just Brunch. Okay, y'all, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. What you seeing me go see the Christmas slides or the lanterns. Me and Naomi went to go do that. That was super fun, super festive, a great time that you could take your little kitties. I can't wait till I have kids to take my little kitties. Also, you know, I went to brunch with a Giselle, so that was fun to see her. Check out Just Brunch if you guys are in Atlanta. It's in Gwinnett. Food was phenomenal. Uh, customer service was great great place to go i believe it's black owned it was really good and i can't forget beyonce watching her movie it was great it was fun so yeah until next time love y'all shay